In this video we are taking a look at the Honda Civic Type R by Fujimi. Hi folks, welcome back to Ghost Sniff Garage. In today's video we are going to do an unboxing of the Fujimi Honda Civic Type R EK9. Let's take a wee look at the box. Got your decals there, your Mr. Hobby colours that you'll need for building the kit. Your warnings there. And it's just the same on the other side. box various bags in here clear parts here window wipers chassis body some tiles and your instructions and decals So I'll get these bags opened up so we can take a wee closer look at what's inside. Right, so I've got the bags all opened up. We'll take a wee look at the first sprue. So we have your some interior parts. You've got your seat there. Looks like your exhaust tip, gear lever, steering wheel, got the right hand drive dashboard there, and your EK9 Type R wheels, and your two part spoiler. Tidying up didn't done on the spoiler there. Now, I have built this kit before, a different variation of it. Um, it's actually one of Fujibi's better kits. The next sprue we've got chassis there. It's the bottom of the engine moulded in. Partial exhaust. Fuel tank there too. Get your rear subframe there and your front subframe. Front wheel hub and suspension. You got a few different options for your headdress for the seats. It's your standard. Civic seats, the rear portion of the exhaust, the European style number plate holders along with the Japanese style, and your front and rear brake discs. So we've got your pegs for your wheels there too. Some injection marks in the back of the standard seats there, but it should be easy enough to fill in. And the next sprue we have more dash options. You've got a left hand drive and right hand drive there. 
another couple of steering wheel options. You get your hand standard Honda steering wheel, which seems to come in most Hondas of the mid to late nineties, early two thousands. You've got your Type R steering wheel next to it. Steering column and stocks. Steering rack. Unfortunately, it's a single tub interior. Can be quite tricky to paint. Door cards are very basic. No details there. A couple of automatic gear selectors there for left hand drive and right hand drive. Got your handbrake, wing mirror inserts, window wipers for left hand and right hand drive. Another couple of spoiler options. You've got your wing mirrors there and your interior mirror. I do believe this sprue probably comes from the other uh, Fujimi Civic SIR. Um, so a more basic Civic. I uh, believe this is shared between the two. With the other sprues having the Type R options on it. Next up we've got the clear parts. Which I'm just going to keep in the bag. Front glass and side glass. Separate rear glass. Option for a sunroof. Front headlight lenses and your rear headlight lenses. And we have just take out one of the tires. Pirelli Centurato, I think they're called. These seem to be pretty standard in Fujimi kits. Most Fujimi kits seem to come with these tyres. They are actually quite nice though. It's more realistic sort of depth to them rather than the super, super skinny tyres. It can kind of look out of place sometimes. Set of poly caps. And we've got our decals here as well. These are the standard Civic Type R decals. Then on the other side, you've got your different tuner decals. Breedy, Mugen, Colas. So yeah, this is what's different with this kit makes this different to the other kits that um, are about just now. There is a couple of other Fujimi Civics that um, are kind of widely available at the moment. Um, there's this one and there's another couple with this one with the same box art except it's in a grey background instead of the, um, the sort of road background. And there's another one which is a slightly different box art. Um, the one that I built previously was uh, the one with the grey background. Um, the car comes moulded in silver and it comes with some extra aero parts, uh, a different spoiler and some side skirts and stuff, um, but it doesn't come with the extra decals which this one comes with. So we've got the body there. Like I said, this is one of Fujimi's better kits. Um, I think because it's a more recent moulding, it it's a 1998 uh, tooling and you tend to find the Fujimi stuff that's from slightly later on uh, seems to be a bit better than their toolings from the 80s. Um, the plastic seems to be a bit better quality. Um, I've had issues with some Fujimi kits in the past with plastics very brittle and things snapping and cracking. It's a very nicely moulded body, a few mould lines just in the back corners there, just all the usual kind of places but it's not too bad, it's hidden along the top in this your groove there on the roof, same at the 
bonnet there and just comes down onto the front corners just a little bit in there that's not too bad I'll take a quick look at the instruction manual to it it's only a couple of sheets with it being a Fujimi kit they don't tend to have the overly detailed instruction manuals the parts list there the pieces greyed out that you're not supposed to use but Nothing stopping you to make it your own way. So that was the Fujimi Honda Civic Type R. Um, quite a basic kit, but it's still, like I said, when I Fujimi's better kits, one of the most popular kits out there just now, see lots of people building these and doing uh, crazy things, modifying them and stuff, um, I think there's a few trans kits available out there um, to really like take it to the next level, um, wide body kits and uh, photo etched parts and stuff, so if you could build this straight out of the box it would look great, or you could really go to town and get yourself a trans kit. Um, really uh, do it up make it look really really nice um, so yeah thanks for watching the video I hope you all had a happy new year and had a nice festive period and hopefully 2021 will be a bit of a better year for everyone rather than the mess that was 2020 if you want to follow me on Instagram you can keep up to date with um, some of my builds and keep an eye out for more unboxing videos coming in the near future as always appreciate any comments any likes any subscriptions and i'll see you soon in a future video cheers bye